the Sprint Center in Kansas City for the national championship match. The three-time defending national champion Penn State Nittany Lions. One of their seniors, Ari Wilson, back to serve. The senior class trying to finish out their careers perfect. 24-0 in the postseason with four titles. And they get the block. The Cal Bears, the fourth year in a row they are playing Penn State in the tournament. They're looking for their first win over the Nittany Lions and their first national championship. Penn, Penn State eliminated them each of the last three years, but never have they played in the final. Cal getting farther than it's ever gone in the tournament before. And the Bears get the kill. They have been waiting all year long for another shot at the Nittany Lions. Both of them breezed rather unexpectedly through the semifinals, so they are well rested and ready to go tonight. Beth Mullins along with Kurt Karai here inside the Sprint Center with over 13,000 plus. Robin Rostrader digs it up. Murray shouldn't blocked. Hit, shouldn't hit it the big sleigh. Got to go over the smaller blocker, number five, Carpenter. McClendon kills the block. Point Penn State. That's her second kill of the night. The first title on the line for the Cal Bears. Penn State. They were the first to win three in a row and now really trying to secure their place in history with a fourth straight. Slay slowed it down. Lloyd out to Murray, the All-American down the line. Deja with another kill for Penn State. Timeout called by Cal and a 12-7 lead for the Nittany Lions. To win their first title ever against Penn State and stop this dynasty. Story so far, Penn State hitting 500, Cal hitting 100, as Cat Brown gets the kill. Once again, your hitting percentage, you want, uh, want it to be like a batting average, 300 is awfully good. And Cal, much different than in the semifinals. They have very few errors. They already have four hitting errors just halfway through this first set. Deja McClendon gets stuffed. Tara Murray, the 6'3 junior from El Cerrito, California, sends it back. The top players in the game, including Tara Murray, they're up there touching around 10 feet. That's equivalent to grabbing the rim on the basketball court. The net is uh, around 7 feet, 4 inches high. And women's college volleyball. Kathy Quillico tracks it down. McClendon outside the antenna, point Cal. Penn State got the matchup it wanted. It had Blair Brown hitting one-on-one -on -one against Carly Lloyd, but she was unable to win that matchup. Rally continues. Penn State, uh, uh, sorry, Cal earns the point. Brown serves. And pushed across by Shannon Polari, the 6'2 sophomore from Plano, Texas. And if you have to look at position by position, Carly Lloyd blocking here in the foreground has a big advantage. She's been setting for four years an All-American setter on the other side of the net. 5'6", Kristen Carpenter just learning the trade. It's like taking a safety in football around September 1st and saying, hey, it's not working out with our QB. Would you try it out? <laughs> and she is. She was recruited as a defensive specialist, and here she is leading her team. But some of her sets are going to be inconsistent. We saw that one play ago. The much better location that time from McClendon's put away. Asia McClendon, the national freshman of the year. She will come out here for a serving special. She get 12 substitutions per set. Ali Longo, a freshman, on to serve. Lloyd looks to Murray. That's perhaps the most lethal combo in the country all year long. And Murray has transformed herself from her first two years. Really sat down, talked to her parents, and just said, I don't feel like I'm getting as much as I can out of myself. I should be playing better. And she turned things around, started paying much more attention to her nutrition, to her diet, working out more. And she has doubled her hitting percentage, her hitting efficiency from her sophomore year at around 160 to this year at over 321. And in the tournament, hitting a cool 350. 
Whistle at the net. Low point, Penn State. Will call for the back row attack, I believe. Yeah, if you have a back row player and the other side of the net hits it into her, she becomes an illegal blocker. The ace from Dorico. And after a 4-0 cow run, four straight for Penn State. And we may be watching the best server in the country right here. And Alyssa Dorico in pressure situations in this her fourth finals appearance. Goes with the off-speed serve. Gives Murray a chance to swing away. That, in theory, should be Penn State's best blocking combination. The two se seniors, Wilson and Brown, next to each other. But Murray wins the matchup. She's cleaned it up. She had a couple early errors and now back on track for Kel. Popped up by Carly Lloyd. Dug up by Longo. Here comes Blair Brown. Dean again, off the block wide, Point Bears. Dean, the 6'3 freshman from Dallas, double digit kills in six of her last eight matches, including 14 in the semis against Southern California. Boy, has she come on in this tournament, being, playing very much more like an overclassman than her, her freshman years. As the season's gone on, she's gotten stronger and stronger. Cal. Now she's a little playing out of her position too. She's a more natural opposite player, but had a huge match against Stanford to help Cal win the Pac-10, the first time they've ever done that. The two outsides were dominant in the semis with 37 kills as Wilson, and that slide behind that she loves, the middle, going to the outside. Coach Feller was even saying, I may regret saying this, but I think it's harder to win the Pac-10 than it is to win <laughs> the NCAA tournament. Well, he did one, and if that was harder, I guess he should do this tonight, right? He has put together a, an incredible run. Long on that swing, Point Penn State. But since Rich Feller has been in Berkeley, a complete turnaround. They didn't have a winning season in the 90s. Nine straight trips now to the NCAA tournament under Coach Feller. Oh. Miscommunication for Cal. Not a good sign for Cal. And that's a sign of a team that's never been in the final. Penn State has a lot of players who've experienced this utter confusion you do not want to have any decision is better than no decision and no decision was made on that play long way to go for Lloyd good cover by Ross Strata Ariel Scott stuffed that little play by Ross Strata saves the point and often goes unnoticed it's like battling for the defensive rebound and then gets her team the opportunity to win the point later with Johnson on the block but it starts with helping out your hitter and being ready when they get blocked. Ross Strata the 5'11 sophomore from Carlsbad California. Johnson had a little trouble so far, getting hitting out and then hitting. She was licking her chops on that one. A wide open put away, but hit it too sharply down. Again, don't need to make the great play or the perfect play. Just need to make the team that makes more good plays over longer periods of time is going to win that, this match tonight. Well, speaking of good plays, Dorico able to keep it alive. And then Blair Brown mishits it. Point Cal. They are down three in the race to get to 25. Have to win by two here in the opening set of the match. Both teams, not a particularly clean match. It's a close match, but not particularly well played with mistakes like that. McClendon got it down. Deja McClendon with her fourth kill. Make it five now for Deja. Freshman out of Louisville. She was in Tampa in the stands watching last year's final. Now out there, the NCAA record for women's college athletics that came to an end earlier this year. But uh, just an incredible run that they have put together and still currently on a 23-match NCAA tournament win streak. And 
Longtime former Minnesota coach Mike Hebert has always summed up the dynasty best. I think he said, you know, even though they've lost four All-Americans and they're not as good as they were the last couple of years, winning is in their DNA, and they're the only players in the country that know how to win a national championship in a gun. And they have proved it's in their DNA to get to this position. Of course, people realize they didn't have the toughest road here. Yep. They're regional. <laughs> And, it, and, that, and their draw, even Coach Rose would say, hey, we know we got a good draw. Some years you get a good one, some years you don't. They've had some, what they felt was bad draws in other years. But it got better as it went along. The carnage in the other parts of the bracket, the seeds one, two, and three going down. The swing and the kill for Penn State. Yeah, they were kind of hanging out. They're watching number one Florida lose in the third round, and then Nebraska out in the third round, and then Stanford out in a region final. And all along the way, you saw their confidence building. Hey, maybe we can steal one that we didn't expect on getting. Kind of playing with house money, and they're in a good position at 22-18. Nice play by Murray to... Push that one over the top of the block. That's a sign of the growth of Tara Murray in terms of, that's her fifth kill, in terms of her variety of shots, different speeds, different locations. A year ago, she probably would have tried to crush that, get blocked or hit out, but patience, she keeps it in play and gets the bonus of the kill. Brown with the kill. Good recognition by Blair Brown. The Libero Rostrader was off the court. Of course, she can't serve for both middles. So Cat Brown had to serve and play defense. If Brown sees that, she's going to tip that way. McClendon to serve. They are two points away from winning the first set. Service error, point Cal. Cow in a position, Karch, conversely, that I think every other team wanted to be in. They wanted Penn State to keep winning so they could be the team to knock the top dog off the perch. Texas wanted to be that team in the semis, came out flat and never recovered. Here's a chance for Murray on the outside against Brown. Kill for Scott. Set point, Penn State. Look for the ball to come back out to the player who's taken the most big swings for Murray. She makes the pass. Not a good one. Three persons up. Chance for Penn State. McClendon out of the back. Kept alive by Lloyd. Blair Brown deep in the corner for the kill. Her fifth of the first set and the three-time defending champs grab the early lead in the national championship match. Blair Brown returning the favor, the deep tip. We just saw Tara Murray put one down. Got to be ready for that play. Cal's going to make that, have to make that play in set number two. That. <laughs> well, they uh, certainly, Cal, would like to improve on that 143 hitting percentage. Yep. The 324 for Penn State. They had six kills from McClendon, three from Wilson. And Tara Murray hit 176. Both teams had about the same number of swings, but Penn State was more terminal, getting 17 kills out of those. And this is the fourth year in a row that these two teams are playing each other. All three of the previous were 3 0 sweeps for Penn State. And we knew coming in the hunger, the desire would be there for Cal trying to win their first national championship, but would they be able to handle the moment that Penn State is so familiar with? in winning the last three finals. We see that neither team changed their rotational order. Tara Murray still left front like she was in set number one. And Blair Brown, if she puts this away, nope, she'll rotate up after the block. Quilico diving save in the corner. Twice McClendon blocked. A third time, again by Lloyd, the setter. Good blocking moves by Lloyd. Gets her team a free ball and a free swing for Tara Murray with the kill. 
That's one of the things you see Lloyd turning toward the sideline and running and swinging her arms to jump. That's going to help her jump higher. She has upgraded her game considerably, more dynamic. She was a little resistant to it at first in springtime, trying some of these new techniques. But as she saw how effective they were, she embraced them. Kill for McClendon against the solo block. This it is a big adjustment, too, by the way, for California, playing at a completely different tempo this year. Absolutely. First, the swing blocking we were just talking about, and also they had an All-American outside hitter, Hana Chudua, who played a much slower tempo. Now Cal is free to set the ball faster to the outside. Like that. See how low that set was. Slay tips it wide. Point Cal. Judera never could have hit a set like Murray just got there. So they want to stress their opponents, Cal does, by running very quickly to either sideline. It allows much less time for middle blockers to go join and form a two-person block. Carpenter to McClendon thunders that one down. Wow, McClendon just hammering. You see Lloyd lining up to block here, but she reaches in a little to her left. The ball goes outside her right arm there. Great vision by Deja McClendon. Eight kills for the freshman. She had 11 of them in the semis in their three-set sweep. Sharon Hawari has been effective in the middle so far tonight for Cal. But that's a pretty high set. That's not a good play by Penn State. And, and her coach is livid, Dennis, over there, because that's a high set in the middle, and there was only one blocker. They should have had three up. We saw the other night. They got three up on a quick set, a low set against Texas. Service error gives Penn State the point. In for Penn State, Ariel Wilson. Serving Alyssa DeRico. Here comes the big spinning jump serve of Alyssa DeRico. Schmidt with the pass to Lloyd and Hawari, the quick in the middle. Oh, Hawari been very effective this season. Now, this is a much lower set, much less time for Penn State to react. And a pretty easy kill created by a good pass and a well-located set by Lloyd. That's her fifth kill of the match. Brown. On the overpass, nice play by Wilson just to keep that tough set alive initially. And she has spent, we talked about it, much of the season compensating for sets that aren't in a great location. Last year, she led, Ariel Wilson did, the country in efficiency over 500, actually about 540. This year, her, she's down about 100 points because of poorer connections with a rookie setter. Nice up. Brown will get the swing out of the back row. Net violation on the reach from Wilson Point Cal. Good defense by Murray. She puts it close and a good choice by Lloyd. Sometimes she will try to attack that ball. She can be very effective as an off on offense hitting the second ball over the net. But that time she was in the backcourt. She chose to give it to her hitter. Wide to Scott. Got the touch. Point Penn State. The FCS football championship game comes your way live on ESPN2 at 7 Eastern on Friday, January 7th. It's Delaware and Eastern Washington. For more information, go to NCAA.com. It's the official online home for all 88 NCAA championships. Ian. Off the tip, point bears. You can see Penn State is trying to go at Gian. She doesn't play much back row yet as a freshman, so when she's exposed, they serve right at her. She didn't give a great pass, but Lloyd making up for it. Gian puts it away. Off the block and out, point Penn State. Wilson, the 6'3 senior from Broadview, Illinois, spent part of her offseason training with the U.S. national team. The senior class has kind of been in the shadows a little bit over the, last, the first three years of the dynasty and now trying to make a name for themselves and no greater legacy than to win the title all four years you're in school. Nobody could ever do it even three times until last year when Penn State in that epic battle against Texas come, came back from a 2-0 deficit to win late in the fifth set. Yes, 
Clemson. Pop back up by Cal. Back to Deja. And the freshman turning it on in the final. She is swinging with such confidence. Part of it is the speed of that set. There are gaps between blockers, and she can see them. On a lower set, you actually have better peripheral vision, well-placed by the setter, Carpenter, at the service line now. Murray responds with the kill. That's her eighth. with a half a blocker up as she swings around behind. Going right at Murray. We're going to see that matchup all night long. Murray winning the previous battle, and then Brown winning that one, getting a one-on-one -on -one situation. Brown can hit at all different spots across the court and can jump off one leg like a layup approach in basketball. That's what she did that time. You have the opportunity to move your rotation, your lineup around a little bit, and both teams said... No, thank you. We're going to go with our stud, even if it means we match up against your stud. And right there, Murray winning that battle. First Brown goes past Murray, and then Murray thunders one past Blair Brown. But you're right. You can have any one of your six players start at the service line. Neither team change. We call it spinning the dial. Both teams like the, the matchup at the net from set number one. Johnson able to slow it down. In transition, Katie Slay sends it back. And in that rally, neither setter with a good set. First, Carpenter's drifted way off the net. Then, look at how close that is. We call that a trap set in volleyball. Lloyd upset with herself, putting Murray too close to the net. Lloyd back out to Murray. Hammers another one. She's already got 25 of their 48 swings. She took over 40% of them the other night, and it looks like she's ready to go 50, 60, 70, whatever it's going to take. It's a contest <laughs> of who can hit harder, McClendon or Murray. And the ace on the whiff in the back row. Serving at just two passes. Look at all that court. Those two Penn State passers have to cover. There's a lot of space between. That time, no confusion. Scott got it down inside the block. Point Penn State. Both teams trying to win that battle with speed. The two setters setting very quick and fast sets to the sidelines. It doesn't give that middle blocker time to get all the way out. Again, got it over the smallest blocker on the court for Penn State, Carpenter. And that's something that every setter has to look for. If Ian is out on a 5-6 blocker, the setter has to see that. Lloyd doing a nice job. Look at where the matchups are. Where's the weak blocker? Where's my best hitter? Lloyd is directing them now to a 571 hitting percentage here in the second set. And finding Johnson. Biggest lead of the night here for Cal. Up three. This is a shot Johnson didn't have when she first arrived at Cal, but she saw the line. She had the whole street, the whole alley down there, and she took it. Easy point. Wilson Long. Well, you might wonder. Would Rose call a timeout at this point? But he knows there's a technical one, an automatic one coming in one point. So he's got to wait because it'll come. He'll get a free one at 15. Cal block slows it down. Free ball. Wilson dug up by Lloyd. Wilson the third time gets it down. Blair Brown with 
to kill. Now both coaches waiting a little, knowing there's going to be an automatic timeout. Blair Brown with her eighth kill. Both coaches holding off. They don't want to spend one when they're going to get a free one. Johnson gets the kill, and here comes the media timeout. 15 to 12, Cal leading in the second. Penn State won the first. Get the best athletes to be this dominant when it's this competitive and there's that much parity. Amazing performance by Penn State. Wilson gets the kill. And talking with Russ Rose this week and hearing uh, interviews, uh, in particular the one that Doris Burke did with Gina Oriema, both coaches very similar mindsets about streaks. We don't care what's already happened. We want to win the next one. And that has very much been Penn State's focus. Even these seniors talk about this year alone, not the last three. Slay, the freshman, she hasn't won one yet. She wants one. And she makes a great read there. We talked about Lloyd, who will sometimes decide to attack as a setter on the second contact. There's an example. She has to avoid the height of Slay at six foot six inches. After the service error point, Cal, that net about seven feet four inches tall. Uh, a lot of these women at the net are approaching and touching 10 feet, which of course is the same height as grabbing the rim in a basketball court. Absolutely. Actually, many of them, some of the, the highest jumpers are touching 11 feet, a foot over the basket. Carly Lloyd with the dump for the point. Now there she makes a nice adjustment. She knows she might have that same big blocker slay, and so she goes deep. We saw her practicing that in the open practice the day before the semifinals. McClendon, as Cal was uh, into the net, Point Penn State. Tenth kill for Deja McClendon, who continues a remarkable run here in the semis and the finals. And now Blair Brown back at the net. Let's see the Murray-Brown matchup. It's a tie. They'll go away from it this time. Cat Brown back outside to Murray. Stuff. Brown and Slay side by side. And Penn State likes that matchup. Murray's been swinging with such effectiveness. They haven't slowed her down much except early and now that last block. Katie Slay, a part of five blocks of the match for Penn State. Ooh, that ball drifting way off the net. Good patience by Murray. McClendon got it blocked by Lloyd. Back out to Deja. And this time pulls it for the point. That is not a freshman play right there. What a nice play by McClendon. The patience to just, we call it slopping it over. Just an easy shot off the right hand of the blocker, Carly Lloyd. No media timeout to wait for this time. Rich Feller's got to call one to stop the pen. More like an approach when you would go to actually attack. <laughs> Murray's rejected again. Katie Slay is having herself a night. Sixth block for the freshman. Right into the left hand of Slay. And I just talked about how blockers want to reach over. I saw four hands that time across the net. Well executed by Penn State. Close. Coach, do you worry about Murray getting 50% of the swings or you just ride the All-American? She's taken 31 swings out of 63. It's so readable that Penn State can set up a better block, and that's why Murray's having trouble right now. And it's a 5-0 run for Penn State. The deficit into the two-point advantage. Cal trying to win its first championship. This is the fourth year in a row they are facing Penn State in the tournament. They've been swept 
the three previous occasions and Penn State has gone on to win the last three national titles. The regional semifinals, but, and then Scott in the regional finals, but all three on track so far here. They are responding to the challenge of trying to get the seniors that fourth championship in a row and get their first as Murray uses the block for the kill. Cal back within one. But Cal again going to Murray. It's becoming a very predictable offense. Penn State can set up a block pretty well on that. They know where it's going over half the time. McClendon on absolute cracker. In the semis, she had 11 kills, zero errors out of 15 attempts, hit 737. Again tonight, hitting very effectively, almost 500. A dozen kills to lead everyone in the match. Halari had it put back. Ross Stratter again able to keep it alive and get her team the point. Cal is trying to make some adjustments. You saw Hawari. She has a knee brace on. She blew out her ACL last year. It's still hard for her to jump off of one leg. She has not been doing it all season, but we see something different from Cal in an effort to spread the court out a little. She still prefers, as she's coming back from that surgery, to jump off two feet rather than one. She slowed it down. Murray will get another swing. Blair Brown is stuffed. Murray ties it up for Cal. So, Penn State likes Brown blocking on Murray, and Cal likes Murray blocking on Brown. Murray winning the matchup that time. Ariel Scott, another point for a freshman for Penn State. Dorico, Penn State's best server. Scott, and the block gets it down for Cal. Penn State had a chance to go for it and let it drop. Strong block by Corey Johnson there with her right hand, and Penn State making an error. If you have an easy play and you don't know whether it's in or out, you have to play that ball. Do never, never, ever depend on the linesman to make the right call. We know some other teams in this tournament who, who have learned that lesson. Kurt, you're sounding very John McEnroe in that <laughs> assessment. Sometimes it's hard to see and make it right. There's talk about something like in tennis, bringing a computerized replay system into volleyball. Got to get to 25, win by two. Seventh kill for Wilson, the seniors making plenty of noise tonight for Penn State. Murray out of the back row. Got it. Nice adjustment by Murray. She normally likes to hit that way back toward her left. And McClendon was leaning that way in the back court. So instead, Murray hit it straight down the middle. She saw some open space. What a nice pass by Dorico. Wow. That was a good serve. Deceptively short. But Dorico makes that play happen. You don't get a lot. The Libros often don't get credit for that. But you have to have a good pass right on the money. And then Wilson gets the one-on-one -on -one hitting situation. Corey Johnson got it. She's the one who's more effective off jumping off one leg. That time again using the outside hand and the blocker. I think Cal needs to do more of that to spread the block out. Johnson hits toward one sideline, Murray toward the other. McClendon blocked. And Cal has a set point. Wow, that block by Lloyd. You see how high she got off the ground with her swing blocking move. Way above and across the net. Timeout, Penn State. This is the 5'11 setter who is also the active blocks leader in Pac-10 play. Watch, she turns, gets her head over the net. She was not doing that in previous years, but she's made big adjustments to her game to take advantage of the athleticism that she has. 
And look at that, head over that net that's seven feet, four inches. And an eighth. I'll add that as well. <laughs> it's a set point for Cal. Penn State leading the match one to nothing. Today's winning team will receive 40 points towards their school's quest for the Capital One Cup. The runner-up will get 24 points. It's 13 men's and women's sports that are represented in the new award, and the final standings are calculated by the NCAA Division I Championships and final official coaches polls. For more information, log on to ESPN.com slash Capital One Cup. Final here in Kansas City. Cal looking for its first title. The Penn State dynasty trying to add a fourth in a row. Murray with 13 kills. McClendon with 12 for Penn State. for the second set. I expect the ball to come back out to McLennan. The connection between the setter and Wilson hasn't been great. Rostrader digs it up. Gian, no! Penn State was there with Carpenter, the setter, returning the favor. Gian made the right choice. She hit at the right blocker, 5'6", Carpenter, but she hit it too low, barely across or barely above the net instead of high or over the hand. Now, have to win by two. Better choice. She hit it high that time. Uh-oh, over the net. Lloyd! The National Player of the Year comes up with a big play. That was huge. That pass was far too close, going over, but Lloyd saving it. Penn State will use its final timeout, so both sides out of them. And the Brown, not an assertive swing at all. Another big rejection by the freshman. That time we saw Murray make a mistake. She hit it at the 6-6 six, six Slay instead of the 5-6. Look at these two blockers here. Slay is towering over Carpenter. Wrong place to hit. Seven blocks for her. Uh-oh. Well, and Lloyd made another huge play for Cal on the block. Feller is saying, why, why? Come on, Carly Lloyd, go to your stick. Misconnection there in the middle. Expected to go back out to Murray, but she's going to have Brown and Slay against her. Two very tall blockers. Now to Murray. Block got a piece of it. Penn State for the set. Murray again. Oh. Brown pushed it deep. Point, Nittany Lions, and Penn State fights off two set points. And they have the 2 nothing lead. And the Bears let one get away. They were on the verge. They had great swings, great sets to finally take a set off Penn State, their nemesis for the last four years. But two huge blocks, and then Brown just saving this. Murray in the net. Point, and again, that deep, sh soft tip shot is going down. Cal can, has to read that more quickly. So a 2-0 lead, and you see the disappointment from Rich Feller, who now joins us over there on the headset. And uh, Rich, how do you get your guys back together quickly in the locker room to come out for the third? Well, I think we just have to play our game. Um, you can see that uh, Penn State is human. We're human. You know, we made some good plays, but we weren't consistent enough. And maybe we made some bad choices right down the stretch there. Uh, could have had some good plays happen, and we didn't make it. We didn't make it happen. So. 
serving and passing and uh, just executing some of the things we do well. I think we're right in this match. Coach, you stuck with the same matchup and you got the two swings you wanted. Any other changes you're thinking about? No, just uh, we got to make sure that we keep the serve away from the libero and uh, serve a little bit tougher. We, we got him on a couple short serves and got a few better blocks. But really, again, I, I don't think we've even played close to our, uh, our game right now. We just got to come out here a little more relaxed and do what we do best. All right, thank you very much, Rich. Okay. Rich Fel For Penn State, head coach Russ Rose now joining us. And coach, you guys staved off a couple of set points out of timeouts. What were you stressing with your team coming out of those two breaks at the end of the set? Well, we just needed to get a good block out there. It was We knew where the ball was going, but Murray's such a terrific attacker. We were fortunate to get good touches. But, you know, it's uh, the match is far from over, and uh, Cal's a great opponent. And, you know, we're going to try and get the ball to Ari and Blair and see if the seniors can get us some uh, get us some spacing here. Coach, it looked like you got the matchup you wanted the first two games. Blair Brown blocking a lot against Tara Murray. Do you expect them possibly to change it? Well, I'm not really sure if they'll change it. But, uh, you know, we're, we know where the ball's going. She's almost at 50 percent of their swings but we need to be able to see if we can slow her down some more all right thank you very thank much you. rose four titles including three in a row and deja mcclendon the freshman leading the way with 12 kills hitting 321 and she has come up big we saw in the semifinals 11 kills in three sets now 12 in two sets including swinging very assertively against a strong Cal blocker. We saw Lloyd Getters just one time late. Murray with 13 kills, but the problem for Cal right now is with her taking half of their swings, but only hitting 158, that's just not going to get it done. Yep, Murray, 38 swings out of 79 total. Lloyd has been the leader of this team all year long from the springtime on. She's the one who's just helped them with their motto, and which is, you know, keep the ball in, give ourselves a chance to win the play later in the rally. Been so physical this year, improved her technique and everything, but come up short so far. Penn State trailed. 0-2 in last year's final and came back to win it, taking three straight against Texas. Now they are up to zip. Can Cal do what has only been done three times in the 30-year history of this tournament and rally from 0-2 to win a championship? And Cal does not change up anything. Murray left front, so is Brown. What they do change is they didn't set Murray. They set somewhere else, and that's a good change. They need to mix it up. You see her on your screen there, number 11 in blue. Cat Brown has to get more attempts, as does their other middle, Shannon Hawari. Take a little of the pressure off of Tara Murray. Kristen Carpenter to Blair Brown, and there's one of the seniors that Russ Rose talked about. Can they bring it home for the fourth time? A three year starter. She too spent some time with the U.S. national team in the offseason. And Rose, to uh, Rose told us last weekend at the regional when she scores, we're good. When she doesn't, we lose. And she's scoring well so far. McClendon wallops one out of the back row. We haven't seen that much. No, Carpenter, the setter, is feeling confident in her hitter, McClendon, to deliver it to her in the back row. That's a wrinkle that Cal hasn't seen much. So we've seen wrinkles, new tech or new tactics from both teams so far in set three. Murray somehow got it through the triple block. Point Cal. There must have been a gap in the block. It just slipped through. That's exactly what Penn State wants. You can see here three people up, but a little space between Brown on the right and Slay in the middle. Carpenter back to Brown and off the block wide. Point Penn State. Blair Brown now with 12 kills. Brown that time showing the patience that Murray has learned this season. It's not lined up. Just tap it over. See what happens. Service error from Dorico may have hurt her hand on that one. She's mad at herself. She gave herself a poor toss that went way into the court. So she barely got it with her fingertips. And that's why she's grabbing it. She just couldn't even reach the ball. Penn State using just two passers. 
Wilson dug up by Lloyd. Murray misfires out of the back. And in prior rounds, we have seen Murray swinging much more aggressively out of the back row. But she saw a good block in front of her, got a little intimidated. Nice pass. McClendon gets it. What a good read to come way over toward the sideline to make that defensive play. Lloyd Hawari in the middle got it down. Point Cal. Two nice adjustments in that play. Number one, McClendon coming way over toward one corner to make the defensive play. And then Hawari, knowing where she was playing, hitting toward the other corner. Ariel Scott rejected. Tries to tip it over. Chance for Cal. Another stuff and a point, Cal. Well, it was a good cover by DeRico, but Blair Brown wasn't ready for the second one, kind of standing straight up. You see her way in the right corner there and then getting low to make the play. That's too late. Another tough serve for Cal. We'll get them the chance here, and they do pick up a point. That's certainly something that Coach Feller was talking about. We need to serve tougher. We need to get Penn State out of its offense. Two aces in a row. That's the tougher serving that Feller wanted. And you can feel the momentum shifting a little. We felt that last year when Penn State fell down 2-0 and started to come back against Texas. All Cal really needs to do is get this third set to get their confidence and they're ready to roll. Wilson. Wide open, sliding behind for the point. That's a play Wilson loves to run. It's just whether her set right next to her and behind her. They're hard to see because she's <laughs> only 5'6". And Wilson just a bit taller at 6'3". Ian gets the kill. Point Cal. The FCS football championship game will be live on ESPN2 on Friday, January 7th. For more information on the FCS football championship, go to NCAA.com, the official online home for all 88 NCAA championships. And that's the cost of trying to turn the volume up, turn the pressure up on your serving, as you're going to miss more. Now knows they just need to apply a little pressure to see how Penn State will respond. The Nittany Lions have won 18 of 19. Their one loss was a blown 2-0 lead to Minnesota late in the regular season. They have yet to be tested in the postseason. Brown out of the back into the net. In the middle of that rally, we saw the setter for Penn State Carpenter taking a swing. One of the things Coach Rose said about her, he said, she's our hardest hitter. Just like Alicia Glass, the All-American setter that they, that they lost to graduation and has gone on to star as a setter for the U.S. national team. Used to do. She used to be the hardest hitter. Talk about some big shoes to fill this year for Carpenter. Here's a chance for Cal. And their setter is going to get a swing. Carly Lloyd. Who can also bring the thunder. And another stuff. Cat Brown alongside Lloyd. This time, Cat Brown doing a nice job. There was some space there between her and the end blocker, but she got her hands across the net. That's the most important thing as a blocker. Cal, even in blocks with Penn State, ahead here in the third. Are you ready? I'm ready. John, your car is here. Go get him, Tiger. When you're hitting the road for business, good luck. Enterprise will pick you up and get you on the road to success. Pick Enterprise. We'll pick you up. Let's take the holidays by the antlers, expand our toolboxes, and fill our sleighs to capacity with all kinds of buzzing, roaring, and humming. With guaranteed low prices on all the tools you want, there'll be more than tinsel blending around our trees. More saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. We're lowering the cost of Christmas morning. Buy any Ryobi Super Combo or Lithium Ion Combo Kit and get a free Ryobi Power Tool with up to 99 bucks. This holiday, experience the world of Polo Ralph Lauren fragrances. 
the passion, the tradition, the world of Polo Ralph Lauren fragrances. Holiday gift collection at Macy's. Penn State tries for its fourth straight title. UConn looks to continue its record run. They'll take on the Ohio State. A 109 match winning streak come to a close earlier this year. They have won the last three national titles. In 08 and 09, they did it undefeated. And they're trying to cap it off with a fourth straight and a 2-0 lead here tonight as Blair Brown gets the kill out of the timeout. And actually at the start of the season, Penn State was ranked number one. Coach Rose didn't feel that was really fair with all the talent they lost to graduation. Here it is. Apparently the coaches were right all along in that early ranking. Lloyd goes back out to Murray. Slay got another block. Murray had to try and go over the top of it. The swing block was there waiting for Brown. Good choice by Brown just to keep it alive. Schmidt bumps it up. Slay sends it back again. Boy, this is going to exhaust Murray here. She keeps having to swing five times a rally. Carpenter back to Brown. And off the block wide. Point Penn State. Well, we have the same matchup. I was wondering if Cal would change it. They did not. So you have Brown hitting against Murray, Murray hitting against Brown. Multiple times that rally. Brown still out. That attack wide, Point Penn State. Blair Brown now with 14 kills to lead the way for the Nittany Lions. She's hitting 357 in the final match of her career. Will it be a fourth consecutive trophy winning match? <laughs> McClendon got the block. Doesn't get the kill as it's stuffed again by Lloyd. Lloyd still giving her team life. You were talking about Blair Brown, how good she's been. She was struggling the first half of the season. Coach Rose was even saying, hey, you know, when you have your stars, it's like, hey, we need you. We need you to lead these young players. They don't know how to do it. They, they want to follow somebody. After they had a rough weekend in Indiana in the middle of the season, she's turned it on. They've turned it on. Second half of the year for Brown, averaging more than one kill per set than she did in the first half of the season, and her hitting percentage up over 50 percent from the first half of the year so early on coach was like hey where you been <laughs> i need you sometimes cards do you get the sense that after being a follower for three years against some pretty dynamic behind some pretty dynamic personalities it takes a team a while to get used to new leadership absolutely and that was something that Blair Brown and Ari Wilson and Dorico had to learn. They had been more the followers until this year because so many great players like Megan Hodge and Alicia Glass were with the program. So it took them much of the season to learn, well, how do we lead this group? This group is waiting to be led. That's a tough serve. Nice pass by Ross Redden. Longo chases it down. Murray. Good, Good get by Dorico. Back to Blair Brown. Schmidt down to pop it up. Brown against the solo block and the rare show of emotion from the senior. Exactly what I was thinking. Not seeing her celebrate that much, but she can taste it now. Only down one with this two sets to none lead. That fist pump has been four years in the making for Blair Brown. And the ace from Longo. Both the last two serves, you see the whole Penn State bench going crazy. Both the last two serves were rockets. Ross Rutter controlled the first one. Now they have to, have to bring in a third passer, Megan Schmidt. Good pass. Oh. Lloyd tried to dump on two. And Ariel Scott makes her pay. And Penn State's got all the momentum. 
And Cal has to burn a timeout. Feller not happy with that shot by Lloyd. Lori Barberich, who is also the all-time kills leader in Penn State history. And we see them both wearing the Navy the sweaters. sweaters. Those sweaters have won three <laughs> titles each. <laughs> Going for number four. No sweater has ever won four you don't <laughs> titles in a row. I think the, both the sweaters are going to have to go to the Hall of Fame if yeah. they do that. Oh, there's no way he's ditching that after four of those. I'm, he's going to keep that as long as he's coaching. Triple block again facing Murray. Blair Brown, the senior, with her sixth kill of this set for Penn State. She's got almost half their scoring. Now looking for its first title. Penn State a fourth in a row. And Brown and Wilson and Dorico, the seniors, could win one every year they've been in a Penn State uniform. Coaches have said Penn State is an underrated serving team. They are turning it up big time in this third set. Another ace on what, in theory, should be the best passer for Cal, Ross Stratter. Six straight points. Murray stuffed. Keep feeding the beast here in the third set. Got to go to the hot hitter. And what I like about the last two plays, Brown, when she didn't have it, she hit deceptive shots. First the tip, and then this roll shot. It looks like it's going to come hard. It's like an off-speed pitch in baseball. You mix those in, gives the defense fits. Wow. 7-0 run, make it eight, and another ace. And timeout, Golden Bears. Longo was in the doghouse with Coach a little earlier this week for getting his bag on the bus, but he's got to be happy with her now. <laughs> Allie Longo with three aces off the bench for Penn State. Penn State starting to feel it now. Longo. Point Cal as Murray gets the kill. We saw Cal try something different. Murray coming into the court a little to attack, trying to get away and avoid the block of Blair Brown. It worked that time, so we'll watch to see if Cal does that some more. Brown continuing to tear it up here in the third. Well, Carpenter's still learning the setting craft, but she's no dummy. If somebody's got seven kills this set, let's make it eight right now. <laughs> Ferrari blocked. Ari Wilson got that one, the other senior. They're trying to reward her with the set. Instead, Cal in transition. Getting the point. Again, Cal needing to get other hitters going. In that case, Corey Johnson bringing it cross court. We saw her earlier go down the line. That's still open for her. Brown that time stuffed. Murray, 51 swings for Cal. And the service error, Point Penn State. And when you have to carry the load like that, passing a lot, hitting a lot, it can affect other parts of your game. And it was, it was clear it did on that serve. Another tough serve. Now a good set from Carpenter, so Cal will get a chance. Not gonna make it. Point Cal. Good hit by Guillen. Cal needs to do a better job of avoiding the tallest blockers of Penn State, hitting higher, flatter shots. Another big swing from a senior. And that's a high flat shot. Wow, did she elevate there? 
and go right over the block. The streak ended in September. Back-to-back -back losses in October. And you could hear the murmurs, the rumblings. The dynasty is done. Penn State's in big trouble. And all they've done since is win 18 of 19. And they are now four points away from the improbable. Dorico pops it up. Brown down to get it. McClendon. to get another one. And Deja McClendon with the finish. Two points to the title. The seniors giving the younger players momentum. Brown with big kills, Wilson, and then McClendon joining in. Quillico digs it up. Point Cal. Wilson gets the kill. Championship point, Penn State. Another championship point. Expect the ball to go to McClendon. Carpenter to Blair Brown. Back row attack called on Brown. Point Cal. They fight off two championship points. Trying to let Blair finish it, finish it with a kill. McClendon dug up. Carpenter back outside to the freshman. Murray got it. And Coach Rose still has one timeout. He's debating. And he'll use it as Cal fends off three championship points. The Penn State Nittany Lions. They won their championship in 07, sort of with the buildup. They didn't have any seniors of note on that team. They came back the next year in 08, the so-called best team in history with six All-Americans. They win it again last year, undefeated, with the best senior class in the history of the sport. The winningest, Alicia Glass and Megan Hodge. And this year, they weren't supposed to be here. And yet they have figured out a way with this senior class and the freshmen that have kept getting better, Karch, and they are now at championship point. And some of the coaches I talked to here, Co Coach Rose has gotten coach of the year for some of those winning teams. They're only half joking. They're saying, what is he, if he wins with this group, what is he, coach of the decade? <laughs> they are looking for their fourth in a row. They win the opening set, and then Cal had a chance to tie it up in the uh, second set. 
Penn State fights off two set points to go up two zip. Two huge blocks by Penn State. Cal had everything it wanted. A big swing by Tara Murray on the outside, another by Guillen, and they just couldn't seal the deal. That deflated Cal to the point where they then came out flat out of the media break in the third. The Penn State seniors said, yeah, winning three was great, but this is about a legacy of our own. This is a new year, a new team, and they are the leaders this time around. And they've got another championship point. That's a good tough serve on that point. They don't have a chance. The Rico to Carpenter. Blair Brown out of the back row. Sway ends it. The dynasty lives on. Penn State wins its fourth national championship in a row. becomes the first coach in women's volleyball history to win a fifth national championship. And the Penn State seniors, a perfect postseason career, 24 and 0, and four national titles. We talked to legendary volleyball player Carrie Walsh earlier in the match. And she now has some company as the only freshman MVPs of the national championship. And it's Penn State's Deja McClendon. She hit 733 in the semifinals, and she follows it up with 16 kills tonight. And the winning sweaters paid off again for Coach and his wife. His fifth title. Passes John Dunning and Don Shaw. And Deja McClendon, who was in the stands, in the bleachers last year in Tampa, watching Penn State win its third in a row. Now the MVP of a fourth championship in consecutive years. Katie Slay had a bunch of blocks tonight. The 6'6 freshman didn't have any kills until the last one of the match. She knows how to pick her spots. The final point recorded. The dynasty lives on in Happy Valley as Penn State wins its fourth in a row, denying Carly Lloyd and the Cal Bears the first championship in program history. Russ Rose loving it. A sweep in the semis and a sweep in the finals. For Karts Karai, Mike Sondheimer, our entire crew, I'm Beth Mowens. So long from Kansas City.